Now in this tutorial, I'm going to create a reflection effect. So here I've got a photo on a 3D background. Now I've already placed my shadow on here, but the other effect I want to add is a reflection. And this is a relatively easy effect to achieve with Scrapbook Artist. So the first thing that I want to do is to make a copy of this photo. And I can do that just by clicking copy and paste at the top. Now actually this copy doesn't need the shadow on, so I'm going to remove that by selecting the shadow tool and then click remove shadow. Now to create the reflection effect, the first thing I want to do is flip this second photo. And I can do that on the arrange tab. And there's an option here to flip vertical, and that's what I want to select. And that makes my photo go upside down. And now I want to position the photo so that it's directly under the existing image. Now I can just do that manually. Alternatively, I can get that spot on by using the Align tab. So what I need to do is hold down Shift to select both images at the same time. And then I go to my Align tab. And here you've got an option for spacing. And I want to make that zero space vertically. And that now means that it's perfectly butted up against the other image. I'm also going to align it to the left. So this now means that this photo on the bottom is perfectly aligned with that one on the top. Now I just zoom into the bottom image. Now in reality you'd never have a perfect reflection like this unless it was literally in a mirror. To create a much more realistic effect I want to make this reflection image transparent. Now I could do that using the color tab on the right hand side just by sliding this transparency slider down. But actually what I want to do is create a graduated transparency so it actually starts to fade out to nothing. So if I undo that, I can actually achieve that effect using the transparency tool. So if I select that, what I'm going to do is drag a transparency line on here. So I'm going to start actually up here somewhere. I'm going to click down on my mouse, hold down, and then start to drag it down onto the reflection underneath. And as you can see, that's now created a graduated transparency that's actually fading away to nothing, and that's much more realistic for a reflection. Now again, thinking about the way that reflections really look, they're normally slightly blurred as well. And I can achieve that using the filter effects option. So I'm going to select this reflection again. This time I'm going to right click on it and choose filter effects. Now if I just move this box to the right, you'll be able to see me working on it. There's a lot of filter effects you can choose from. I'm actually going to choose Blur here. Tick that box. And you'll see on the right hand side you've got a few options. But the main one I'm going to change is the amount of blur on this image. And you can see if I was to slide this all the way to the top, that then makes this very blurry. I think I'm going to take it about halfway to get the effects I want. And then once you're done, click OK. And then if I zoom out, you can see that's created a very realistic reflection effect. 